Hello there everyone, this is Predin007 and I bring you a replay of Company of Heroes 2. It's a 2v2 on Ethel Box Station. I'm playing as the USMA. I have Kilo Priest playing as the Russians. And then we have two Wehrmachts. This guy's name is... Okay, whatever. Ivy? Or IVV? Oh. And Muammar Gaddafi. Very original. So, let's go. So, this was actually really interesting. I was surprised that neither of them went with OKW. In a way, I was scared on going on this map as the allies. Because most of the time, the OKW kind of owns this place. With its close quarter. Storm pioneers and all that. So, I went with the Heavy Cavalry Company. Kilo Priest went with Advanced Warfare. This guy went with, I don't know what is this called, but where is the button? Here it is. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, the, no, oh, wait, this is the guy. He went with Jaeger Armor Doctor, and this guy went with Jaeger Infantry Doctor. Alright. Also, it's been quite a while since I uploaded anything. I apologize for that. So. Kilo Priest is capping this. I told him that he should blitz um, to this building because this will be like a like the middle of all fighting. So these guys, I think at least this guy he had one, and this guy got two MG 42s. I'm building up barbed wire just in case. I actually should have. Uh, I wanted to build up a fighting position here. But I keep for I forget about it, so yeah. So Kill Priest is trying to get there with his conscripts, but the pioneers got there first. Yeah. Basically the middle and the south will be the main battlefield here. Kill Priest is trying to fend off the dude. As far as I believe he no, he didn't start it yet because he didn't have the necessary resources for it. But I guess he was waiting for it, let me see. Will he immediately get Molotovs? Well, in the meantime... He retreated because of the MG. And when I heard MG, then I think I... Oh yeah, I already have grenades. Because he told me that they already got MGs. So I basically got grenades early on. This guy's setting down his MG there. I don't remember that. It, yeah, they're gonna set up like the fences all around this place. Actually, I didn't check their levels. I, th I don't think they were that high level. Well, they were prestiged. But, as I said it before, level doesn't matter, jack shit. So, conscripts. Kilopri's getting a mortar. What about me? I have three riflemen. Oh yeah, I'm still uh, just moving around. Oh yeah, cap the fuel. Cause Kilpris didn't cap the fuel. I told him cap it, dude. No. It's really science, so let's speed up a little bit. Nothing really goes on. Oh yeah, the dude tried to move forward, got pinned down, retreated. Oh yeah, this was interesting, him setting down the these barbed wire. Now he's gonna... I know he barbed wire this, then he tried to barbed wire this as well. Now this dude is trying to cap those positions, but I sent my rifleman to intercept him. Superior firepower. Pull back. Good. 
DMG is still here. We can now deploy a smoke screen to blind the enemy. Oh yeah, more engaging my riflemen. I'm getting a lieutenant just to get the A half track. Since uh, they're both Wehrmachts, I'm not really concerned about. Uh, wasn't really concerned about early um, uh, tanks or light vehicles, like compared to the OKW. That most uh, people actually sometimes go with the mechanized just to get like uh, early light vehicles like the uh, flak half track, the Puma. And that is when I mostly choose the captain. But right now in this situation, getting the lieutenant and the AA half track seem to be the best choice right now. Now I was trying to clear that building of that MG. Try to go close and then pour in some grenades. Damaged it. I think there it goes another one. Yep. And clear. And that's what I did, and I just pulled back. Now they have another MG here. They have another one here. I know that they're gonna set down one here as well. Oh, Kilp is trying to get close. I think he will Ura. Yeah, there it goes. Molotov goes in. This bunker is interesting. Maybe it would have been better if he would have put in the MG in it. So Kilp is putting in his MG in that building. And they're trying to cap this again. Now it's the... The purple guy. Got my ambulance. Kilopris trying his best here to somehow maintain this position. And here, my lieutenant was forced back, but my rifleman will soon get there. In the meantime, here. Ah, nice, Molotov. I think he will try to get some kills on the mortars, or will he try to destroy the bunker? I think he will because he will throw in the Molotov. Can he? He can, but ah, uh, the cooldown. Will he throw it in? Nah, he's. I think the mortar will destroy it eventually. Yep. Now he's moving in again. Now my riflemen are moving in to destroy that MG42. Nice grenade going in for another one. That's gonna destroy it. Oh wait, not. Oh, it's dead. And again, pulling back. Yeah, I should have built up a fighting position here. Getting the A half track. Let me see these guys. Ah, here's their first scout car. How much resources does this guy have? Hmm. Could have used it up. Ah, he's getting a pack gun. Alright, interesting choice. I understand it. This guy has pretty decent. Ooh, okay. He barely has any forces remaining. I mean, units, and then his. His mortar is gone. So at this moment. The orange guy didn't have anything. This guy's going to battle phase 2. This guy is in battle phase 2. He's getting a pack gun as well. So, scout car moving in. I have my A half track to engage it. Now, I have my ambulance here. I was really scared when he appeared with his scout car. I was like, oh goodness sake, don't destroy my ambulance. I, I was keep screaming to kill Breeze, like, throw 80 grenades, dude, throw them! But he said that I don't have them. I was like, alright, but still throw them. <laughs> Didn't make sense. So, that is gone. Now, an MG42 is again here. Kill Priest is pouring in smokes, a smoke barrage. 
Even though he shouldn't have done it, because my half trap would have cleared that place. But at least he got closer with his conscripts. He's trying to go for a flank. But this guy built up his bunker, and the MG upgrade is ready. Did he throw in the Molotov? He did. And MG has been destroyed. And then, I tried to move in together with Kulpris in the middle, but then we saw the fucking bunker. I was like, yep, yeah, insta-pulling back. So, gonna try our luck in the south. Right now, there isn't really anything with which they could destroy the half track. Well, that was a Panzerfaust, and I think he's bringing in a pack. There's a pack guns. Captain just took the battlefield. And I got my captain. Ability ready for deployment. There we go. Doing some damage. And pack gun. Alright. Now I'm going in for it again, but <laughs> what? Oh wait, of course, I th I think I tried the... Uh, uh, did I have resource? I did! I should have used the smoke uh, grenade. Hmm. Unit ready for action. And I got rangers. ready for rolling out so let's see what these guys have all right he has a pretty decent amount of resources he could build up the panzer headquarters this guy oh yeah all right kill a priest let's see you you have a lot of manpower mate I think so do I. No, I actually... <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting my um, AT gun. Okay. Molotov it! Molotov it, dude! Not too late for that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Did he lose that squad? No, he didn't. I'm bringing in the riflemen. Oh, he got one of my dudes. No big deal. Now, I'm going in for a flank in the meantime. I love this side, actually. Flank. Destroying whatever they have. The MG is gone, but I know the back gun's there, so I didn't send in my A half track. There are two squads here. Should have sent. Ah, Ganges them. In the meantime, I'm fighting here. Oh, yeah, bringing in the Rangers. And bunker destroyed. Uh, there are these two squads. I should have. Uh, yeah, I got pinned down because they set up a freaking MG there as well. Darn it. Should have uh, pulled back my lieutenant and my rangers to deal with those guys. Here, have a grenade, lads. Oh, <laughs> so close. Dudes, nice. 
Ah, oh, here they they both got a Panzer IV. Uh, yeah, they both build up the Panzer IVs. No shit. Much resources. Uh, I guess they lowered their resources because they got the tank. And then Kill Priest got to engage the tank first. He grenade on it, nice one. Damaged it. Here comes the other one. Well, they were trying to double team us here. Well, double team him, but I was here as well. Yeah, get the zoo good. And that's abandoned. And he has an SU-76. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I remember when Kilpris wanted to get the Panzer IV and they did shot with the pack. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> oh, cheeky bugger. This is a very sneaky way, setting up the MG and the pack gun right next to each other. But it's vulnerable to light artillery. Which uh, Kilpris does. Now Kilpriest fought these guys out, now it's my turn. It's time to replace Kilpriest. Showing superior firepower. They're gonna destroy my poor half-track. Yeah, bastards. Oh yeah, they're gonna man the MG. But my dudes were there like, yeah, not gonna happen, mate. And that's a waste of grenadiers. How much stuff do you have now? Holy shit, he has one squad and he's getting a Panzer IV. What about this dude? This guy still has a decent amount of dudes. Is this an Ostwind? Yes. This guy has nothing. Well, nothing. He has one dude. And then he lost his forward building. Me and Kilopri start moving up in the south. And there's the HMG still in the building. He's gonna use light artillery on the, that bastard. Yeah. Ostwind Panzer IV. Pack gun destroyed. I actually wanted to use their pack gun, but I didn't want to waste my rangers on it. Sending in riflemen, lieutenant. And Ostwin is gone. Uh, why did I press on retreat? It could have helped him in destroying that. Yeah, I was trying to use the pack gun on their zone Panzer IV. Managed to rifle grenade it. Then I lost my lieutenant. And then I was like, yeah, they have too many stuff, so I'm pulling back. Couldn't say it was a waste because um, we still had enough manpower for everything. Is that a J I'm getting a Jackson? 
Oh, I cancelled it. I'm getting a Sherman now. Oh yeah, that was a nice one. But unfortunately, it didn't kill it. Now this dude is trying to... Oh wait, I remember this moment. This dude called in a reconnaissance. Oh. Oh. Mate. The dude called in a 50 kilogram and Kilpris lost both of these squads. He realized it too late. Ah. Oh. But. It matters not to him. He has far too many resources. Ah. Uh. Let's see the orange guy. Did he get some of his stuff back? He did! But he's losing more. And also, Kilgrus has his T-3485. Yeah, your recon plane won't stay up there for long. Oh yeah, I love this one when I'm gonna do a flank on it. This dude is sending his MG like around. Ready for action. In a way, I thought that he would do that. So I got up close quarter. And they're like, yep, you're done for. He got into the building. And now, pouring in for the grenades. What? And it's clear. And we are taking their fuel. Which is good. Let's see. This guy could, I think. Oh, yeah, he's close to get another Panzer IV. This guy cannot get a Panzer IV, but he has a Stug. My boys are holding this. Holding the line. Yeah, at this point I was a little bit confused. Like, what should I destroy first, the pack gun, or should I pour in? The oh, I did both. Then I just pulled back. There's the Panzer IV. Is he getting another one? Yep, he's getting a second Panzer IV. He's like going after Kilopriest T-34. But he's just walking into a trap. Damaged engine. He's still trying to get to it. He was pretty close though. And then my Sherman arrives. Enemy forces have 300 points. And goodbye. Now, ready. now they're getting their fuel back. Let's see. This guy is in a has a pretty decent amount of forces. This dude. <sighs> Three grenadiers, one pioneer, and the Panzer IV. His resources are pretty low. This guy's resources are pretty decent. Kilo Priest's resources are pretty nice. He's getting a T-34. What kind of T-34 are you getting? Another 85? Yeah. And for me, yeah, I'm in a good situation as well in terms of resources. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Did they put in an RMG? Yeah, they did. There's the pen four. Sherman on point. Oh yeah, tank superiority. Oh yeah, I'm mining the place here, just in case if they would have tried to flank. And he manned the MG again.
Hope he's called in another storm of ink. Repairing Sherman. Their tanks would not be able to get through here because it's this. Oh yeah. The MG over there. And it's still going in. And Kilo Priest took care of him. Nice. They're shooting at his T-34. Of course he saw that coming. Crowds are sniffing around our asses. Tactical point being captured. Yeah, we really didn't concern ourselves about the north. But I should have set up a fighting position at least. This guy got a quite nice amount of uh, grenadiers. And I'm sending my boys to the north. Nice light artillery strike. And I lost the unit. Oh, I lost my AT gun because this dude is attacking as well. Whoa. MG's down, and I'm just pulling back. Because that's now the job for the tanks. Oh, that, is, that was nice. Now it's really silent again, so I'm gonna speed up. Forward. Point is being I got my Pershing. Oh, this this part is actually in a way funny. The Rangers will deal with those dudes like frontally. They yeah, got pinned down. Grenade going in. Whoop. And now concentrate all five hours. All the motor helped me out as well. Pilgrim smaller, and then it's dead. It is dead. What? Oh yeah, this dude in the north, he massed up like most of his forces and sent it to the, to this side. What did you get this time? An SU-85. Of course, I see all this massive blob of doom. That gun is alone. A capture point is under attack. Yeah. I really should have built up a fighting position here. Our supply line just got cut off. Yeah, he moved his dudes. 
But then Kill Priest arrived with his conscripts. And you know at that moment that you're fucked. Sage is rule, man. So, what do you guys have now? You have um, absolutely almost nothing. And you, laddie, you have the Stug, but you have a good amount of fuel. You could have gotten something else, but I bet you were waiting for the Elephant Tank Destroyer. Which would have not worked. Oh, I love this moment. I love this moment with the Panzer. He's like, oh, let's roll in. Yeah, mine. Hey, mate. Ruin there. Yeah, he the dude lost his only tank. He's getting a Panzerwerfer. I was actually waiting for. Actually, no. Uh, I mean, I saw that because I called in a reconnaissance, and I was like, "Oh, I need to destroy that." Panzerwerfer. I don't know why would you get a Panzerwerfer right now. Yeah, there goes the reconnaissance, and now I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna spot it, and I'll be like, oh, well, alright. Yeah, and there it is. I saw it there, and I was like, but then it was too late because we won. Still had a good amount of map we could have called in something something else. This guy. This guy had always had like a good amount of grenadiers. So yeah. Um, this was an interesting match. And again, like this is when we returned after a long uh, break. And we were really not confident at all, but we pulled it off so anyway thank you for watching and see you next time and I hope that will be soon